So in this one, uh, the probability of a customer ordering a milkshake is known to be 0.89. Out of 34 customers, 24 ordered a milkshake. Conduct a hypothesis test at the 1% level to determine whether the probability of a customer ordering a milkshake is different to 0.89. Okay, so let P be the probability of a customer ordering a milkshake. Okay, so H0 is the probability of equals 0 0.89. And H1, because we're tr trying to determine whether it's different to 0 0.89, we're looking at not equal to 0 0.89. Okay, so it's a two-tailed test. So assume H0 is true. Set up a binomial distribution where N is 34 and the probability is 0 0.89, OK? So 34 times 0 0.89 is approximately 30. So we shouldn't need to write all of these values into our table. So menu 7, uh, scroll down to binomial CD, list. So for our x's, OK? Um, let's try, should we try, um, let's try 20, I'm going to go with 20 and up, okay, just to be safe, 20, 21, 22, up to uh, 34, so 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34, okay, n is 34, Probably is 0 0.89. Okay, so we are looking for uh, 0. Point, well, it's a 1% level. We halve that, so it's actually 0.5%. Okay, so 0 0.005. So I've got here at 25. No point, so 9.5 times 10 to the minus 3, so 0 0.0095. So I actually need one less than that, don't I? So I'm going to need 24. Okay, so 24. 24, I've got 2.8 times 10 to the minus 3, so 0 0.0028. Okay. Now at the top end, um, I'm looking for an overlap of 0 0.995, okay? So uh, what I get is, da, 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 then I got 33 is 0 0.9809 and 34 as 1, okay? Now, with this, with this overlap, okay, now, because I can see that the probability of x being less than or equal to 24 is 0 0.0028, which is certainly less than the 0 0.005, because half of the 1% significance level, and the probability of x being less than or equal to 25 is 0 0.0008. 0, 0.095, okay, which is greater than the 0 0.005 significance. I've got 24 and under being in my critical region. Now at the top end, okay, what I actually find is that uh, I know I've got this overlap here, the 33 and 34, but remember we've got to add one to both of those, okay? So the probability of x being greater than or equal to 34, we can't really write in greater than or equal to 35 because we can't get more than 34. Okay, so this doesn't really exist. Greater than or equal to 34 is one takeaway less than or equal to 33, so that's um, 0. 
0191, which is uh, greater than the 0 0.005. And so, th if 34, even if you got 34 customers out of 34 ordering a milkshake, that would still not be significant. So the critical region here is actually just from 0 up to 24. Nine, ten. Yes, I am going all the way here. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Phew, right. There we are. That's our critical region. Um, and what did we find? 24 ordered a milkshake. 24 is in the critical region. So... So the result is significant, so we reject the null hypothesis. There is evidence to suggest that the probability of a customer ordering a milkshake is different to the 0 0.89. Okay?